Hello, viewers. I'm so excited to come through to you today as we reflect on the Word of God again. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And I'll be reflecting on the topic, Laborer in His Vineyard. Our text for today is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 3, from verse 1 through to verse 7. The Bible says, This is a faithful saying. If a man desires the position of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not covetous, one who rules his own house well, having his children in submission with all reverence. For if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being puffed up with pride, he fall into the same condemnation as the devil. Moreover, he must have a good testimony among those who are outside, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. A memory verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. The parable of the laborer in his vineyard is found in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus tells the parable in Matthew chapter 20 from verse 1 through to verse 16. And in, in response to Peter's question in Matthew chapter 19 verse 27, the Bible says, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? The parable lets us know that as followers and servants of Christ, we are laborers in God's vineyard. We are God's workers. Peter wanted to know what reward will be given to those who give up everything to follow Jesus. And you know what? In response, Jesus explains this truth about the kingdom of heaven, planting, maintaining, and harvesting vineyards in first century Israel was strenuous. It was a strenuous work requiring hard physical labor in the heat of summer. And so why the analogy of a vineyard laborer? This was to demonstrate that the work in God's vineyard may not be easy. The first group of workers in the vineyard resented receiving the same wage as the last group who came later. In the same way, as Christians, we should rejoice when others come to the Savior as we should rejoice in the service of others that, that are rendered to Him. God is faithful to reward us for our service as he has promised. And how he rewards others should be of no consequence to us, nor should it affect our devotion to him. The message in verse 16 of that text, the Bible says, the last will be first and the first last. The message there is that no matter how long or how hard a believer works during his lifetime, the reward of eternal life will be the same given to all in eternity, an eternity of bliss in heaven, in the presence of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. If eternity is our goal, then continued service will not be too much of a burden. We also learn, however, from today's memory verse, that to be counted among God's laborers, one must be faithful. We also learn some qualities that are needed to remain a faithful laborer, from our Bible passage today. I pray that we will be found faithful on the last day in Jesus' name. I pray upon, I pray for you that the grace of God to be qualified as a laborer in his vineyard be released to you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.